federal government came, I'm almost done. Federal government came and issued a war out. Bush Sr. Anybody know President Bush who messed up the country that just got out the office? <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't, don't want to step on my toe. But his daddy was in office back then, back in 1987. And he came on national TV and he said, with a big piece of crack cocaine, he said, this is crack cocaine and the United States is declaring war on drugs and gangs. And if you're selling drugs in the inner city communities and in the gang, we coming to get you. Guess who they came to get from Tacoma first? Me. Wow. Federal government came in Tacoma and sent me to the federal penitentiary for gangs and drugs and gave me a 10-year federal sentence. Oh. I went to the penitentiary, federal. Was was ranked one of America's worst of the worst. I used to I used to have long braids. I used to have 22 inch arms, bench pressing 500 pounds. If you see me back then, you would thought I was a demon. But here come the good part. I made it out. It was a miracle. Just like I, I, I when, when them bullets didn't hit me that day, I made it out of penitentiary because there was riots and everything in there. But I was still cornered by obstacles. I was powerless to resist it, and my destiny was failure. But then I got out and ended up getting back in trouble again and went to prison my third time. And the third time I was in my cell. The dude came in the pod in the jail cell. I, I, is anybody out here that do prison ministry? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. My man right there. If you do prison ministry, raise your hand. Good. That's good. We love y'all, man. Keep doing that. Because people are listening to you. Your words are touching people. So I was in there. And I was desperate. I was tired of gangbanging. I was tired of that life. Went to church one day. Went back to my cell. Something came over me. I got on my knees in my cell. I got on my knees in my cell and I just cried out to God. I didn't even know how to pray. But I said, God, I'm tired of this life. I'm tired of gangbanging. I'm tired of thugging. I'm tired of watching my kids grow up and they photograph. I said, Jesus, I believe you real. But you need to show me you real. You need to change me. I said, Jesus, I do believe that you died for me. And I do believe you can help me. But I need you to do that for me, Lord. I received Jesus right there in my heart. Jesus came into my heart, set me free right there. You are looking at a new creation. Somebody Come give on. it up for Jesus. Come on. Woo! Come, Come on. on. That was 10 years ago. I ain't been back. Now I got hey. power to resist the devil when he come my way hey. with gangs and drugs and violence. Hey. I can say no in Jesus' name. Hey. Now I ain't cornered by so many obstacles of violence and crime because Jesus is there for me. Amen. Hey. Amen. Amen. Oh. And my destiny is no longer failure. But my destiny is prosperity and is success oh. in Jesus. If you believe in shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll tell you right now, Jesus Christ is real. You're looking at a miracle. Is, if you bro. don't believe in nothing else, believe what I'm telling you that Jesus did for me. Give him a hand praise. Come on. Woo! Y'all act like I'm telling a story or something. This is real. So I'm going to praise him. Last song, man. Play that. Y'all stand up if y'all...